what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this kind of soft but still smoky wearable look for Valentine's Day or you know any day that you want to wear it and it's an all drugstore look. I feel like I haven't done a drugstore look in quite a while so I was super excited about this especially because I found some new products that I really really love from the drugstore and I asked y'all on I think insta stories if you wanted to see a glowy spring look or if you wanted to see a valentine's day look and valentine's day was first so that's what we're doing today and also I'm starting with my hair straight and I end like this and I don't know if that video will be up before this one or not if it is I will have it linked in the description box below how I got these cool ways so if you'd like to see how I got this full look then just go ahead and keep on watching so of course I am using some Kiss Assist. I just cannot go without using that. And then I am priming my lids and just using the same concealer that I'm going to use all over my face and setting that down with a little bit of translucent setting powder. The palette I'm using today is from Profusion, but first we are going to use some tape. I don't do this very often, but I want the eyes to be smoky without having a hard line of eyeliner. So I'm going to use this to give me that nice cat eye shape while still looking super soft. So I'm gonna take the shade Top Notch first out of this Smoky palette from Pure Fusion. You guys, this palette is $6.99 at Target and it's so nice. So I'm just using that as my transition shade and I always, whenever I do the tape, I always start at the outer edge and kind of go right along that tape and then bring it up into the crease. So I'm just adding a little bit more warmth and definition with the shade Top Notch. It's a nice like peachy matte shade. And now to really get that smoky look, I'm taking the shade Vibes and using this tiny little pencil brush. And I am taking that right along the edge there, then blending a little bit down onto the lid, then taking just the brush that came in this palette and blending out that edge. And then you can repeat this process. So I am just repeating that until I get it as dark as I want it. And then I'm going to go in with the lid shade. So I'm mixing the two lightest shades in this palette to put on the eye. I didn't want to do a glitter. I didn't want to do shimmer. I wanted the eyes to be very subdued but still smoky. So I just applied that and then I'm going back in with the fluffy brush that I started out with and just blending everything out before we remove the tape. That is such a good feeling, like pulling that tape off and having that nice crisp line without having harsh eyeliner. So now I'm just taking a little bit of the black liner from that palette as well and just kind of smudging this in between my lashes so my lash line looks a little bit fuller, adding some mascara, and then of course lashes. And these ones are from Morphe so they're super affordable. And then for foundation, I am mixing this CoverGirl Illuminator with my L'Oreal True Match. I love True Match. I feel like this is always the foundation that I go back to. Um, for drugstore foundations and it's been like my everyday foundation. I just love the coverage that True Match has and I just can't get away from it. So I'm just blending all of that in and I wanted to add in the CoverGirl Illuminator because my skin is so dull and dry and I don't want it to look like that for Valentine's Day. So it really helped to just give a little bit more luminosity. And now I'm using my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I know it's not from the drugstore but I can't get away from it. And the ones from the drugstore are okay. They just they're not the Becca one. So I am using my Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer, also my favorite concealer from the drugstore, and highlighting and concealing my face with that. And to set my under eyes, I use the L'Oreal Fit Me uh, Loose Powder, and I love it. Then I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte, I think it's what it's called. Just really lightly all over the face to kind of set my foundation down. I'm not wanting to mattify my skin at all, just keep that in place. So I use a very sheer amount. Then I am warming up my skin with this in-house brand Ulta Bronzer. It's a baked bronzer and it gives a nice luminosity and warmth to the skin, which my winter face could use. And then for contouring, I'm using this one from Profusion. I haven't used any of the cream side, but I used this contour shade and it's so nice. It has a nice gray undertone and it is crazy affordable, you guys. So for blush, I'm using this Butter Blush in Vintage Rogue from Physicians Formula. One of my favorite blushes, period. And then I'm also using this highlighter from them. This is one of their new highlighters in Rose Gold, and you guys look. I think this might be the best 
highlighter at the drugstore. And it has that cool kind of consistency like ColourPop. I just cannot get over that formula. So now I'm just taking a little bit of that shade Vibe again, the dark chocolate shade, and just applying this to the very, very outer corner of the eye. And then taking a clean brush and just kind of blending it out. I also applied a little bit of mascara and I'm lining my lips with this L'Oreal lip liner, which is super creamy. And then for lipstick, I am filling in my lips with Bare All from Maybelline. I love this nude. And then because I am a gloss girl, I am finishing it off with Maybelline's Flirt Gloss. This is one of their lip lacquer glosses, I believe. It is so, so nude, but I love it. And I'm just applying that to the center of my lips and then setting my face with Slay All Day. And then your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.